this floor. Make sure we get it all here. Turn it over. Start the clock. And the H2 is displacing the water in the beaker. So it displaced 80 milliliters in 34 seconds. Let's try it again. The machine says it's putting out 140 milliliters per minute. Let's try this again. This is not exactly scientific. We can get all the air out of the beaker. Put the beaker over. Starting now. Forgot to reset the stopwatch. But you can see how much it's putting out. 40 milliliters already. Sixty. Finally, 80 again. I reset the clock and we'll do it again one more time. All the ears out of the beaker. scale so you can see it here. And there's 20. There's 30. There's 40. There's 50 milliliters. 60 milliliters. 70 milliliters. Thirty-two seconds that time. So the machine said it's putting out 140 40 milliliters per minute. This is putting out 32 to 34 seconds, 80 milliliters. So about double that, which is just about right. So it looks like the machine's gauge is fairly accurate. I'm gonna do it one more time here. That's a little cumbersome because my hands are big and this vessel is small. Make sure all the air is out of the beaker and flip it over. There we go. There's 20 milliliters. Thirty. Forty. It's actually pushing the water out of the beaker. There's 60. Coming up on 70. There's 80 milliliters. 34 seconds. So, 80 milliliters in 34 seconds. Pretty good stuff.